This is Nate with Behind the Glass. Today's tutorial is on triceps. It is part one, two, three, four of this illustration that we're working on to show connection points and show the importance of shape and uh, how to color. Yeah, we're just having a good time with drawing shapes. We're gonna be going over the tricep. So first and foremost, when we look at the tricep here, this is the interior head. Uh, this is the exterior head of the tricep. Now we have, I'm gonna do a back view of, the tri of a tricep. Here's the elbow, the forearm, there's the delt, rear delt, two things that we've already talked about. We've not talked much about the latissimus dorsi. We have the exterior head of the tricep here. We have the interior head of the tricep here, and then we have the third head of the tricep. So what we have here is this is the interior head. This is the exterior head of the tricep. So let's focus on these two right now. Now the arm is straight, therefore the tricep is elongated. So you're not gonna have uh, what I see a lot of people drawing is triceps like this. As cool as that looks, that's not real. That can't happen. This tricep here, because it's straight and the arm is bent at a slight degree, the head would not be nearly that high. It would be much lower. It would be right about here. When the arm is elongated, the tricep is elongated, you're not going to get this high peak. A lot of people want to draw this huge tricep right here. That makes no sense. The tricep is attached at the elbow. So it would be attached over here. So if it's a big tricep, it would be like this. See? So now you have a massive arm with correct anatomy. I'm gonna come in here and ink this. I'm gonna come up here and ink this. Now the tricep also on the interior head here has a huge tendon that makes this a U shape within the head of the tricep. So that's what this is right here. Well, I'm gonna come in here with my W2 and I'm going to color the shape. Now, even though this is a smaller shape, it's still important to, to color with the contour of the shape because you want those lines in there. You want those little imperfections pointing people in the right direction. <laughs> That was my W5, now the W7. Won't need a lot of W7. I'm just gonna put it in that dip where that ligament is. A little bit here between the separation of the delt coming into the brachialis and the bicep. Then I'm going to bleed it with the two again. Won't forget that like we did last time. On step three. <laughs> Get that N5 out to clean up a little bit of that fuzziness. There's not a lot of fuzzy with this one. You know what's funny is I see an imperfection in the brachialis. I don't want to, the shadowing. I don't want to fix. There's a lot of imperfections, but these are my imperfections. So now I'm going to overlay with skin tone on the tricep. Thank you everybody for following on how to draw the tricep from our part four take on this illustration of the human form, a very muscular human form but I figure that's probably best to establish how to draw a certain anatomy. Follow us again on the next tutorial and stay metal.